Hello beautiful people and welcome back to our channel. My name is Anas the Market for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in the comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. And I do reply to each comment as well as messages on my Instagram. And if you are wondering why is that, because simply I'm working for you. And in this video, which is a really special one because lately or the last couple of days, uh, TikTok Creative Center did introduce a new awesome tool which is called Top Products. And I think you might already have an idea what that means, right? So it's actually a platform or a section on TikTok Ad Library or TikTok Creative Center as they call it, where they list all the top performing products on their platform. And when I say their platform, I uh, don't mean TikTok organic, which is the videos you scroll through. No, it's actually the advertisement. So they list all the products that's actually working for advertisers with some awesome data. And what awesome data means is actually the conversion rate for those products as well as the click through and the number of advertisers that's using the product and also the growth which means how many advertisers they are using the product uh, compared to the previous month and so on however there is some data that can uh, also confuse people and they can mistake them for other means so in this video i will cover all the data the top product section gives you about a specific product and also a category not just a product and i will show you that in a moment so you can get an idea about the top products that's actually working very well on uh, TikTok ads and actually I didn't see this coming uh, I didn't think that TikTok actually will give us this uh, information <laughs> about their top performing products on their platform however they already did so without any more talking let's just get to it so I'm going to access the TikTok creative center right now and here it is after you access it you will see this section right here it says new as you can see so in here it says top products you don't have to access the uh, the advertisements in here or anything like that just when you access TikTok creative center you should see it right here and if you don't see it in case it's not available in your location yet just scroll down the description and I will put the link for it so just click on it and here it is just read what the description for it means uh, discover winning products in your region and category which is awesome right so let's just get to it and start from the country so in here you can obviously select the country where you want to discover the top performing products in your area in this case i'm going to keep it for a united states which is the default in this case and just for demonstration because i'm not doing any research right now i'm trying to show you this because I, this is really new and i think a lot of people don't know about it yet anyway so in here you can select the category for here and from my experience do not select any category from here just select all or keep it blank without selecting anything in this case i'm going to keep it like this i'm not going to select any category and then here yeah you can select the last seven days or 30 days just to get more recent data keep it at seven days because 30 days the, the data will be very big and you might not be accurate as well so let's just keep it at seven days and in here you can select by a product or category if i click on product here you can see subcategory and if I clicked on subcategory it will show me the list not by products but actually by categories as you can see makeup and perfume uh, custom jewelry and accessories skincare men tops and so on let's just head back to products which is the thing that we are looking for right we are looking for the top performing products so in here the first one is casual dresses and front of it you will see the first data that does give you which is popularity so popularity means how many advertisers they are promoting this product and in here it says popularity change and if you notice it says minus 16 so what this basically means this means that 16 percent less advertisers are promoting this product compared to the last week because we did select here seven days keeping this in mind if you select this 30 days this is gonna change and either negatively or positively we don't have any idea yet so the second one here it says sit here which I think already people know about which is click through rate so I didn't know that TikTok will actually give us this data but here it is for you as you can see it says 1.32 percent so the click through for this uh, category or this product in this case which is casual dresses is 1.3 percent which is not bad to be honest so this is actually the click through on uh, TikTok ads if you have one one three percent not bad not actually very good but not bad compared to the other advertisements and in here as you can see says CVR which is conversion rate that's very true they even give you the conversion rate and check out the conversion rate for this product which is in this case casual dresses 
it's 10%, which is unheard of. I never saw a category or a product have 10% conversion rate. And I think this has to do with uh, the product itself because from my experience, product that, uh, that are for women, especially uh, conversion rate will be much higher compared to product for men and so on. Because women, if they like something, they're gonna buy it. It doesn't matter their price how much. So, <laughs> and as you can see, the conversion rate is really high. It's 10.2 for the casual dresses. And besides the conversion rate, there is CPA. CPA stands the cost per action. So this 10%, which is the conversion rate, how many how many people bought the product? Each one bought the product cost the advertiser 8.2. USD. So each sale will cost you $8.2 for each product, which is casual dresses, which is really good. That's why the, the conversion rate is really high. So conversion rate actually plays against CPA. If the conversion rate is really low, the CPA will be really high. Just check out this below it right here. Below it, the conversion rate is 3.6% and the CPA, which is cost per action, is actually 23 USD. So always, whenever the conversion rate is high, the CPE will be much lower and vice versa. And the next section here, it says cost, which means it's not actually the cost of the product. No, it's the total, how much the advertisers or all advertisers that's working in this case on uh, casual dresses, how much they did spend advertising this product. And for this case, it's 134,000 USD. So this is what all advertisers did spend promoting casual dresses in the last seven days. Keep in mind, all this data is actually in the last seven days. And in here, just the random data like likes, shares, comments, impressions, and so on. And this data is already available uh, on the TikTok ad library, which is the creative center where you can see the top performing ads. But hold on, there is actually more data here. It says here, as you can see, the button actions details. So if we click on these details here, let's just keep it on the casual dresses. If we click on details, it will take us to a new page here. And there we go. It will display you the data that we already saw in the previous tab right here. It will show us in graph mode, as you can see. So you can actually play around with the graph. For example, let's just select the popularity with the conversion rate. As you can see, it does change the graph based on the data we did select. So this is really handy if you want to give, uh, get an, a sample idea on the performance of a product. But this is not why I access this section. Why I access this section because of this section right here. It says audience and sites. And this is really cool. So if we click on it, it will give us the age range for the people that are interested or the people that have the most conversions for this product which is casual dresses. So as you can see, 38% uh, of people that are interested in casual dresses are between 18 and 24 years old. And 33% are from 25 and uh, 34 years old. And related interest is basically the people that are uh, bought the product or uh, ha have engaged with the product, other interests that are interested in. It might be confusing, but this is really cool data because it will give you uh, much broader uh, view on which people you should interest based on the product you are trying to, to sell. So if you are trying to sell casual dresses, those interested will be the right for you because you will hit the exact spot where you want to promote your product to the right audience. And in here, as you can see, the biggest one is pet treats. As you can see, when really obvious because uh, most people that are interested in casual dresses are uh, young women and young females like pets a lot. That's really obvious. So the second one is uh, pet food and home decor and other travel and storage products. And you're, this is really obvious, all the products that are uh, interested by a category of people, which is young females. And if we scroll down here, you will, it will show you the related videos, which is the videos that are related to casual dresses. As you can see, most of the videos are casual are dr about dresses, right? So that's really obvious. And they give you more videos. You can click on this arrow right here. It will show you more videos. And I will do another video about this uh, to show you how to download the video and so on. And I will also do an update video about Creative Center because I did, did a, a video like a year ago and I did discover other tricks as well as TikTok Creative Center did add uh, other options. So I will do an update video about that. And below it, you should see the related hashtags. 
and obviously this is really obvious hashtags you can guess them without they even give it to you uh, it says dating relationship dating advice dating tips single and so on and the most important tip here keep in mind that this is actually just for the seven days so if we check out the the second uh, product here which is the cases screen protectors you will see the popularity change is up 28 percent and it doesn't mean it's actually a good product or a winning product to go for it does actually mean that more people are advertising those kind of products and if we go like for 30 days in here as you can see this did actually change and the first one and the casual dresses that did show us that it's actually going down right now it's going up compared to the last 30 days so the comparison is really tricky and make sure to play around with the date to get more broader idea and also get more accurate data about which product you should go for and which are not and as i said i will do more videos about this in the future and i will also do an update video about creative center which is the tiktok ad library for advertisements and if you guys have any questions any video requests make sure to drop them below in the comment or check out my instagram right here below me as i said i do reply to each comment as well as message on my instagram and if you are wondering why is that, because simply, I'm working for you. Otherwise, I think my job is done. And thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.